In this video, I am going to be discussing the predatory narcissist. Please like the video, share your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button underneath the video. Click the bell icon as well so that you can receive all of the notifications of my future videos. Please share the videos so that they can help others just as they have helped you. If you would like to make a donation, there is a dollar sign icon underneath the chat. This will also allow your message in the, in the chat to remain viewable for a longer period of time. I appreciate all donations, no matter how small. If you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, my email is in the video description. Okay, so let's discuss the predatory narcissist. Narcissists are predatory. It's like a lifestyle for them. This is what they do all day, every day. If they are not currently preying on some unsuspecting victim, they are plotting or working on some plan of action. They target people who are at a state of happiness, progression or success, which they are envious of. They then plot to destroy this individual and take away whatever it is that makes them happy. Whatever it is that gives them satisfaction or fulfillment in their lives. Because they cannot get the same fulfillment and they are envious of your happiness, progression or success. This is all carefully planned and premeditated. What drew them to you in the beginning is what they will soon desire to take away or destroy. Whatever it is that attracted them to you originally, that is what they soon become envious of. So if you want to know what it is that they are envious of, pay attention to what they are trying to sabotage or prevent in your life. When the narcissist first met you, it is likely that they began to check your family and social, social circle. They wanted to see how much support you had. They wanted to see if there would be anyone who could potentially remind you of who you are. Someone who could reinforce your intuition or tell you when something is wrong. The narcissist likely became aware that you did not have anyone close to you who could interfere with their manipulative tactics. Tactics such as denial, projection, blame shifting and gaslighting. When the narcissist first targeted you, they were looking for some form of deficiency in your life. In the beginning, they may have created the illusion that they were giving you something of value or they may have future faked and made you believe or trust in them and what they were saying or showing to you. Once the predatory narcissist has found something that you are missing in your life, they will use this to dominate and control you. They will use this to keep you in the relationship so you cannot escape. Narcissists often choose victims who are struggling financially so that they can trap them in their web. In the beginning of the relationship or love bombing phase, they will extract whatever attention, validation, approval and admiration they can get from you. At this point, you will be a positive source of supply. But over time, this no longer satisfies them 
and this is when they will move to the devaluation phase of the relationship. At this point, the narcissist has secured you as a source of supply. They never fulfilled whatever the defici deficiency was that you originally had, but they gradually provided you with this to keep you locked in and unable to escape from them. And this is the part of the relationship where you really do want to escape. During the devaluation phase, the narcissist will abuse and manipulate you. They, they will target your self-worth, self-esteem, self-belief, self-assurance and self-respect. If you try to confront them on their change of attitude or behaviours, they will use manipulative tactics like denial, projection, blame shifting and gaslighting to make you doubt your, your own reality. If you continue to threaten their control over the situation, they will withhold whatever it is that you need from them. In some cases, they will withhold from you anyway, but they will future fake or create illusions and make you believe that if you continue to comply, one day they will reward you. When they targeted you in the beginning, they knew that you would that you would be the perfect target for their abuse. They knew that you would fall prey to their manipulative tactics. It's as though they had this predatory sixth sense which they used to detect who would be vulnerable to their games. They studied your family and social circle. So they knew that you had no one close to you who would provide you with support. The predatory narcissist operates in the same way as a child molester. It's like they instinctively knew from the beginning which child they will be able to manipulate. This is done through analyzing your family and social circle, ensuring that you have no support, finding some form of defic deficiency in your life, forcing you to comply with their demands so that they have control over the situation, using manipulative tactics so that you doubt yourself and your reality and even assume responsibility for the current circumstances. Withholding from you and using the future faking tactic. The child molester looks for a target who doesn't trust their own feelings or perceptions. You may have been brought up in an environment where you had a certain feeling or perception and you were told that it was wrong, even when it was correct. The narcissist instinctively knew that they would be able to invade your life and get you to doubt yourself and your reality. The child molester can instinctively spot loneliness in a child. They know when a child is not receiving attention from their parents. They know when the child is being neglected. The child molester has this instinct which is able to detect loneliness within the child. The predatory narcissist operates in the exact same way. In the beginning of the relationship, they will create a false character which is specifically designed to attract you. They will possess whatever traits you find attractive. This is the bait designed to lure you into the abuse. 
like giving candy to a child. The predator, predatory narcissist knows exactly what they are doing. And for a short time, during the love bombing phase, the narcissist will give the illusion that they are going to fulfill your needs or requirements. Whatever it is that you desire from them, whatever deficiency it is that you had, which they then targeted, but over time, the illusion will fade away to reveal what they really are. The attention, validation and admiration you once received in the beginning of the relationship will disappear. And this will be replaced with abuse and manipulation. The predatory narcissist really does operate in the same way as a child molester. Think about all of the characteristics that a child molester looks for when targeting a child. Connect these characteristics to what the narcissist was looking for when they targeted you. They both target some form of deficiency. Loneliness, isolation, insecurities, having no parents or friends to protect them. If you analyze your situation with a narcissist, you will be able to connect this to the child molester. The narcissist knew exactly what they were doing. They knew that you did not have the internal, external or emotional resources to protect yourself and that you would fall prey to them. When they targeted you, they knew that you had some form of weakness, vulnerability or deficiency in your life. This is what gave them the ability to take control of you. It was premeditated and just like the child molester, they knew exactly what they were doing. This is what they think about all day, every day. They have this sixth sense, this predatory nature. They are thinking about how they are go going to target some unsuspecting victim through finding some form of weakness, vulnerability or deficiency in their lives. They then lord you in like giving candy to a child and gradually began to take away whatever it was that made you satisfied or fulfilled with your life until you had nothing left except them. Then they were able to abuse and manipulate you, knowing all too well that they had trapped you and you could not go anywhere. At this point, they didn't need to give you any more candy. It didn't matter if you starved because they knew that you had no one to turn to. You had nowhere else to go. And they knew that you were not going to leave because you were afraid of being alone. You also held on to their future faking believing that one day the false character they displayed to you in the beginning would come back. But just like the candy, just like everything else they displayed to you in the beginning, that was just designed to lure you into be abused, to be manipulated and to have your reality distorted. Please protect yourself from these predatory narcissists. They do not have your best interest in mind. They only wish to control you and secure you, secure you as a source of supply. They do not care about your emotional needs. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. Avoid revealing your personal information or anything about your family 
or social circle to the predatory narcissist. Avoid revealing any form of vulnerability, weakness or deficiency. Like the child molester, they will make you believe that they can fulfill you in some way. But this isn't what they are really about. They have a hidden agenda. The child molester is not interested in giving the child attention or improving their lives. They just want to sexually abuse the child and provoke fear and shame within them. The predatory narcissist and the child molester operate in the exact same way. So please be aware of this. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has resonated with you. Please like, comment and share. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will talk to you soon.